Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Josh Rowe. Tonight we're following developments in an unusual case out of Georgia. Police say a fake 911 call led an officer to shoot and kill a Rossville man in his own home on New Year's Day. Now a judge dropped the charges against the woman who made that 911 call. Hannah Lawrence talked to the victim's widow today about the unexpected turn in this case. Hannah. Yeah, Josh Latricia, I talked to her and also the judge who dismissed those charges. Judge Billy Mullinex says he deals with so many case one, cases that this one doesn't stick out to him. The woman who's now living without her husband, though, says it's a day she will never forget. This is what killed my husband right here. Tonight, more than eight months later, bullet holes remain in Diana Parkinson's kitchen window. But Dorothy Gass is off the hook. She set off the chain of events that caused my husband to get shot. <laughs> this is exactly what Diana says her dogs were doing moments before a Walker County deputy shot and killed her husband, Mark. This internal affairs report shows the deputy saw Mark through the window with a gun and feared for his life. But Parkinson says they had no idea police were outside. He's gone. I'll never have him back. And uh, all, all over a stupid phone call. Police say Gas made a false 911 call to police. Her son is going through a divorce with Parkinson's daughter, Amy. Police say Gas reported Amy was threatening herself and her kids here. But this arrest warrant says phone records show Amy never called Gas that night. Today on the phone, Parkinson's attorney says he just learned a judge cleared Gas of the false report charge she was facing two months ago. Uh, so the only thing they could really charge her with was false report of a crime, which is a misdemeanor. And then they blew that too. On the order, the judge crossed out one of the verdict options and made his own, dismissing charges. He also included a note at the bottom that says Gas cannot make 911 calls without first consulting her son in the future. I've never seen a judge do a form like that in all the years I've been practicing. Now, not only is Parkinson without her husband, she's lost faith in the justice system, too. It's not fair. He should be here with me. We tried to reach both Gas and her son for a comment today, but did not hear back. Parkinson's attorney says an outside prosecutor would have to pick up the case because the new prosecutor over misdemeanors is partners with another attorney who is representing Gas's son in that divorce. DA Buzz Franklin says he does not plan to step in and take that case at this time. Reporting live in Walker County, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Hannah, thank you. A grand jury will see the evidence collected by the GBI next month. They'll then decide whether to indict the officer that fired that fatal.